Hello everybody, this is Matthew Ivy, and today we're going to be attacking the 2023 AMC8 Crown 25. The question reads, 15 integers A1, A2, A3, all the way through A15 are arranged in order on a number line. The integers are equally spaced and have the probability that 1 less than equal to A1 less than equal to 10, 13 less than equal to A2 less than equal to 20, and 241 less than equal to A15 less than equal to 250. What's some of the digits of A14? So we're given that A1, A2, all the way to A15 are arranged in order, and they're equally spaced. That means that A1 is the smallest, A15 is the largest. And since they're equally spaced, that means that A1, A2, A3, all the way through A15 form what we call an arithmetic sequence. So an example of an arithmetic sequence is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. As you can see here, they're all equally spaced. And the thing that's separating them is what we call the common difference. In this case, it's two. And to get to the next term, all we do is we add another two, which is 11. So that's the that's what an arithmetic sequence is. And in this problem, we're given that a1, a2, a3, all the way to a15 form one. That means that there is a common difference, let's call it d, because we don't really know it yet. But there is a common difference d that separates each term. After that, we want to find the sum of the digits of A14. So let's start by writing everything in terms of A1 and D. So A1 is just equal to A1. It's the first term. We can't really do anything about it. A2 is equal to A1 plus D. Because A1, you skip D and you get A2. A3 is equal to A1 plus 2D. Because you skip two Ds until you get to A3. After that, A4 is equal to A1 plus 3D and so on and so forth, all the way to, okay, you can get A14 is equal to A1 plus 13D, and A15 is equal to A1 plus 14D. Now, we can use these bounds to find some of the values. So A1 plus 14D is A15, and we're given that it's bounded by 241 and 250. So let's try to solve for some of the variables. So we're given that a1 plus 14d and 241 less than that, and that's less than 250. So we're also given some balance on what a1 is. a1 is one, less than equal to 10, and 1 is less than equal to a1. So we can then isolate for 14d. We know that 14d, so let's make some space here to do the work. So we know that 14d, at best case scenario, when it's smallest, a1 is going to be 10, and A15 is going to be 241. So best case scenario, 14D um, is going to be 231. Small, smallest case, 231 is going to be less than your 14D. And largest case, A1 is going to be equal to 1, and A15 is going to be equal to 250. So basically, in this case, 249 is going to be separating the A1 and A15. So 14D can be at max 249. And notice that D can only be one value here. D cannot be one, it cannot be two, because that will make 14D way too small. And if we keep going up, 14D, D cannot also not be 16, as 14 times 16 is 224, which is not in this bound. Now, if we try 17, 14 times 17 is equal to 238. And that fits perfectly within these bounds. So D can be 17. And if we go up one more, if we go D is equal to 18, we get that 14D is equal to 252, which is way too big, which means that D must equal 17. So we're halfway done with this problem. We found what D is. Now all we got to do is find what A1 is. And then we can plug it in into this equation and solve for A14. So we have D equals to 17. Now we've used all the bounds so far except for 13 less than equal to A2 less than equal to 20. So let's use that to solve for A1. So we know that A2 is equal to A1 plus D. And we know that D is now equal to 17. And we can set the bounds here, 13 less than equal to A2 less than equal to 20. Also, we know that 241, we can rewrite this bound. We can rewrite the bound for A15, given now what we know about A15 and D. So A1 plus 14D, which is 238, is less than the 250. And we know that 241 is less than that. 
So now that we know this, let's try to find what A1 is. Let's say A1 is equal to one. That satisfies this equation. That satisfies this inequality right here, because one plus 17 is 18, which fits in this bound. However, if A1 is equal to one here, we find that it's too small. One plus 238 is 239, which is not in the bound. So we can try to up it more. Let's say A1 is equal to two. If A1 is equal to two, we get that, okay, the above one is 19, which still fits in the bound. While the bottom one is 240, which is still too small. So now we're going to go to A1. A1 is equal to 3. If A1 is equal to 3, we get that, okay, 20. 20 is less than equal to 20, so it fits in the bound. Down here, 3 plus 238, that's 241. Perfect. That fits in the bound as well. So A1 could be 3. But just to make sure, let's say what, what happens when A1 is equal to 4. If A1 is equal to 4, we get A1 plus 17 is 21 which is now too big and does not work anymore. So therefore, A1 must be equal to three because if A1 is two, then it doesn't satisfy this condition. If A1 is four, it doesn't satisfy the first condition. So therefore, A1 is three. So if A1 is three and D is 17, and now all we have to do is find A14, which is three plus 13 times 17. And that we can easily find 3 plus 13 times 17, that is equal to 224. And the sum of the digits of A4, 2 plus 2 is 4, is equal to 8. And that is our answer to this problem. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. May the force be with you. See you next time.